the Phantom fans will travel just about anywhere for a great pizza. So our next stop takes us to the beautiful seaside town of Agunquit, Maine, where we found a restaurant known for creative combinations and plenty of craft beers. Pizza and beer. A classic combination that's right up there with peanut butter and jelly, Batman and Robin, and Mary Kate and Ashley. And at Cornerstone Pizzeria in Agunquit, Maine, they bring you the best of both worlds. We wanted to bring pizza up a level, but at the same time, it's still pizza. It's still beer. It's not a, a shishi French cuisine. It's pizza. We wanted people to enjoy it, but we also wanted to push it to its full potential. So the Cornerstone crew searched every corner of the country for the best craft brews, and they experimented with all kinds of tasty toppings for their hand-tossed pizzas. All of it served in a chic industrial eatery with a popular outdoor patio. I think that pairing beer and food is sort of a new concept to people, but I think that it's, it's becoming more and more prevalent. <laughs> So you can sip your stout while sinking your teeth into some serious slices cooked in the wood stone oven that serves as the centerpiece of executive chef Trip Roulier's open kitchen. Well, the oven's the heart of this restaurant. This magnificent house of heat cooks every last dish on the menu, which goes well beyond pie. We cook everything in a stone oven. It's really special because of how versatile it is and how I'm able to use it to prepare a lot of our stuff, because everything we do does come out of this oven. But back to the pizzas. The key to the Cornerstone menu is that they never put their chefs in a corner when they try to get creative. We try and do strange combinations that you wouldn't even think of ordering, but then you go ahead and order them and they just wow you. So there's a breakfast-inspired pie topped with bacon and eggs, and this one garnished with fresh shrimp, scallions, gouda, and lime. It's one of those combinations that nobody would ever expect, but that's what we do here. Cornerstone's Cajun-rubbed barbecue pork pizza is topped with slow-roasted pork and red cabbage slaw. Sure, it might seem a little strange, but owner Michael Cavaretta swears by it. We had a lot of people who were hesitant to order the red cabbage on it. The coleslaw is actually what ties the whole thing together. You don't realize the smokiness of red cabbage, but it actually makes the flavor of the Cajun pop even more. And while most margarita pizzas are really good, Cornerstone's is really great because it's made with balsamic roasted tomatoes. They have a little bit of a zing to them, and we find that it just gives the pizza a little bit of extra flavor that just brings it to a whole new level. And while these guys are all about pairing pizza with beer, they have been known to make an exception. We serve all of these amazing beers from all over the world. And what goes better with beer than pizza? There's only one thing, and it's pretzels. So they roll out and fresh bake every pretzel every day and serve them traditionally with mustard topped with cheddar or sprinkled with sugar alongside maple syrup. Since Cornerstone sits here in the lobster capital of the world, a lobster pizza was a must. But rather than using straight up lobster, this pie is topped to the lemony lobster salad. We actually put cold lobster salad on our pizza and almost treat it like it's a lobster roll. The difference in temperature between the hot pizza and the cold lobster actually makes it all come together. It actually feels like a hot lobster roll when you're eating it. Lobster is also featured in the baked mac and cheese along with some salty speck. I just love lobster mac and cheese. I just wanted to do one that just kicks it up a little notch. It's the best lobster dish, in my opinion. The sausage stuffed cherry peppers are cheesy too, but the house made sausage certainly gives this dish some kick. When you bite into one of these things, the pickledness of the pepper, it's a little spicy. It's unlike anything you've ever tried. And while mussels are usually sauteed, because of the kitchen's limited space, these are baked in that oven, which actually makes them even better. If you haven't had a baked mussel, they really are amazing. They bake from the top and they cook from the bottom as well in that oven on the stone. So it mixes all those flavors together really well. Whether it's slow roasting their tomatoes or hand stretching their dough, the staff at Cornerstone takes the time to make sure each element is pristine. Our goal and the thing that I love about it is that we actually try and bring each ingredient to a new level and actually give it a little bit more flavor so that when you eat it, it's the very best that it could be.